everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. In this video today we have another subscriber suggestion. Yay! This time from someone called Douglas Hinkle. And can I just say, if Hinkle is your surname, that is a brilliant surname. <laughs> That's really good. Anyway, he's asked, I've been trying to build a vending machine that will take one gold bar and only one gold bar, not dirt or something else, to try to only give the honest players what they pay for. For one 64 stack of any 64 stackable item, gold in one chest and the 64 stack in another. Can you help me please? I'm still loving your tutorials, keep it up. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, as this conversation carried on, he said that he wanted to be able to choose the item that you got 64 of with an arrow in an item frame. So, after a little bit of work, I've come up with this design. So, taking a look at the design, as you can see, it looks quite good. We have an input chest here and an output chest here, and we have the item selector panel here. And obviously, I've chosen food because, um, I like food. <laughs> so at the moment we have cookies, but of course we can choose whatever we like to get 64 items. So let's have 64 jacket potatoes, or as you Americans might say, baked potatoes. <laughs> now, in the comment he wanted it that it's gold, and it won't work for anything like dirt or anything else. So let's try and put dirt in and see if it works. We press the button. It takes the item out of the chest. But as you can see, the light hasn't turned on, which means it's rejected what we've paid. So we have to give in gold. So if I put the gold in there and press yes, as you can see, the light turns on, which means it's ready for it to go. And as you can see, it only took one item out of our chest. So this is the last time you can uh, change your item. So yes, I definitely want these potatoes. So I press go. And that's it then 64 items will slowly make its way up into this chest here. Now it has a little feature that if someone tries to cheat the system by flicking this arrow around whilst it is actually doing its thing to get more items from different types of food, this will stop. Any items coming from here will just stop. No more items will come into the chest. So it's uh, cheat proof as it were. <laughs> now as it's doing its thing, let's have a look at the redstone. As you can see, it is extremely compact. Yes, it is quite large, but that's how large these things have to be. Now, it sounds like it's getting close to 64 items. So let's have a look. There we are, exactly 64. And every single time, it will always be 64. It will never be 63, it will never be 65. It's always completely one stack. Now, if you want to fill this, as you can see, we have potatoes at the moment. So this one here, so second to last is potatoes. So you go down to the two droppers, let's fill that one, and then go down to this one, and then you fill this one. So if you were in survival and you wanted to build this, I would make little walkways going along here so you can fill these with your desired items and a walkway down here. So that's how it works. Now let's get on with this tutorial. So for this truly amazing build, you're going to need 8 regular pistons, 15 sticky pistons, 19 observers, 21 droppers, 39 hoppers, 9 rubbish blocks to go in your hopper circuit, 54 redstone dust, 59 repeaters, 30 torches, 23 comparators, 19 chests, 1 redstone lamp, 191 blocks to redstone to go on, 1 slab, 12 pieces of glass, 2 wooden, must be wooden buttons, however many blocks you need for decoration, 9 item frames, two stairs, and five buckets of water. Okay, to start this build, have nine blocks like this, and I'd have the block in the middle, maybe a different block from the rest of them, just so you know. Then have an item frame here, and then all round like this. And we have an arrow in this one. And these ones will be filled later, with whatever item you want to purchase. Then place blocks around like this. Have an upside down stairs here, and one here. Chest here, chest here. Blocks all down like this, until you reach the bottom. Rest down lamp here, and a button here, and a button here. Now come to the back. And behind this distinct block, so the block with the arrow on it, place a block here with a comparator running this way. 
then into a block here. Then come out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then place redstone dust all along like this. So at the moment our value is one. Now if we were to twist this, now our value would be two, and all the way up to the top, which is maximum strength at eight. So if we went another block, as you can see, our redstone line would die. So let's go back to one, like that. Then place a block here, one out, and then a line of blocks, like that. And on these blocks, facing toward the back, we have a repeater on one tick. Then, blocks on top of these. Make sure they're all on one tick still. Redstone dust all along like this. Then, a block here, one up, and again, all along. Then a repeater on two ticks. Into a block like that. On these blocks here, we want to place torches. They should all turn on, apart from the first one. And then blocks here. They should all turn off, apart from the first one. Like that. So that is your selector panel sorted. So at the moment, as you can see, number one is selected. Then I go number two, and you see number two is on, and so forth. Three, four, five, six. You get the idea. Now that you've done that, come once more back around to the back, and firstly place a block here, one out, and then all along like this, with repeaters on one tick going toward the back. Then, in front of these repeaters, place blocks all along again. Then facing downward, here we have sticky pistons. Like that. Then blocks on top of them. Well, on their face, sorry. Then a block here. One out. Remove that block. Repeater going that way. Then blocks all along, like that. And repeaters going toward the front on all of them. Then in front of these repeaters have blocks, like that, and in front of these blocks we have torches, again toward the front. Okay, now I want you to place a block here, and one out. Move that block and a hopper facing toward that block, so crouch and place a hopper going in toward that block. Then break that block and place a hopper facing this way. And that's what I want you to do with all of these. So, easier way to do it, just place blocks all along like this and have hoppers going inward, like that, move these blocks, and then hoppers going in to these blocks, uh, these other hoppers, sorry, like this. And just make sure that they are going back and forth. Now in each one of these hoppers, we want to place a rubbish block. So the first one, second, third, fourth, Okay, like that. Then, beyond these hoppers, what you want to do is crouch, place a block here, one out, remove that block, eight blocks are down, like that, and on top of these blocks we want comparators, running again toward the front. Then, in front of these comparators, we want to place observers, so again, crouch and place them on the comparators, like this. Then, in front of these observers, place eight blocks, like that, eight droppers on top, like that, droppers not dispensers, and then underneath these blocks place droppers again facing toward the front. Now in front of these droppers we just placed, we want to place chests, so place a chest here and here, and go along like this. Then the ones on the top, Then place hoppers coming up down from these chests into these. So straight down like that. Then underneath this far chest on the left, place a block here. Then a dropper facing this way here. So facing toward the left of our whole build. Then remove this block and place a line of hoppers. So crouch into that dropper. 
then just to finish off this section, what I want you to do is come around the back here and then in the front of every one of these blocks we want to place a regular piston facing upward. So here and then go all along, eight along. Then place a block underneath these regular pistons like that. Block here, one out, remove that block and blocks like this all along. Repeater on one tick, block up like that, again blocks all along, on top of these blocks have redstone dust, then place a block up again, redstone dust all along these, place a block here, oops sorry not there, here, <laughs> blocks all along like that, and on these have repeaters again on one tick going toward the front. And that is that section completely done. So now we want to do the item filter and I forgot to say in my list that you actually need 41 of your gold blocks or gold ingots whatever you're using to pay and then four random blocks you know which will never go into the system. So then we want to do is grab a hopper, place a hopper into that chest so facing towards this bottom chest then a hopper on top going down into that hopper. Then place a block underneath like this and a block here block here, remove these two and a comparator facing away like that. Then a hopper going towards that comparator like so. Then two blocks out, block down, block here, block here, torch here, repeater on one tick, dust, 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 then a block here, torch here, torch here, torch, 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 torch here, remove this block and we can place a chest as our gold chest. But you can place it wherever you like obviously when you're done with this build. Then come into this hopper here, so click on it, place 41 of your monetary item in here and then four random blocks like this. So that means whenever some gold comes in it will go down straight into this chest and whenever something else which isn't gold comes in, for example dirt, it will get transferred from this hopper straight back into this chest. Okay, now come around the back here and place a sticky piston facing this way here. Then a observer facing this way here. Now on the side of this observer, coming towards this chest, place a sticky piston here. Then place a block here, one here, sticky piston facing downward, remove these two. Then have a repeater on four ticks, like that, into a block, torch here, block here, slab here, torch here, dust here. Then a block here with dust, and this piston should extend. So now when we flick the button, as you can see, the chest gets retracted for a very short period of time which only lets one item go for our system, hence we can put 64 items in but it only takes one item at a time. Then have an observer here facing downward into a block. Have a dropper facing this way, actually first remove that dropper, place a dropper facing this way and then a dropper facing this way, makes it easier to place it down. Then in this dropper open it up and place a rubbish block like that. Then place a block here, one down, remove that block, block here, block here and block here, remove that middle one, comparator here, dust here, block here, repeater on four tick delay, going into a block, whoops, torch, block, torch, block here, repeater on three tick delay, going into a sticky piston, whoops, facing upward here. Then place a block here, block here, and block here, dust here, and repeater here. Just before we continue, I just want you to test this system to see if it's just working. So place, firstly, some dirt blocks in, press the button, 
and your dirt block should make its way to the bottom. If it's not, then one of your hoppers is facing the wrong way. Then I want you to place a gold ingot in, or whatever block you're using for your money. Press the button, and as you can see, our light should turn on, and also this sticky piston should extend, placing this block here, meaning that when we place press sorry, this wooden button, the pole can be sent through the block into this sticky piston, which will deactivate this torch, activating the whole system, but also sending this piston down into this, t this uh, I need this a T flip flop. No, this is my favorite. It's an RS null latch. <laughs> Going into the RS null latch, turning it off, then turning the whole system off again. So you can see, uh, most of the lamp will turn off and we can't keep spamming the button to get more items because it's turned off. And your gold will probably be in the hopper here. For some reason, no matter how many times you do it, one gold item will always be in here, but it will never clog up, it will only be one. The rest of them will be in the chest. Now the next thing we're doing can get rather cramped, so I'm going to do it in very small sections. So firstly, come over here, place a hopper going into this dropper here. So the dropper going into the chest, place a hopper going like that. Then place a hopper, no, sorry, a dropper <laughs> facing upward here, and then one above, like that. Then a dropper, if I say dropper and hopper the wrong way around again, no, a hopper going into this bottom dropper, like that. And then another hopper <laughs> going into that hopper there. <laughs> oh my word, I made that much harder than it was meant to be. Crumbs. Next, come to this bottom dropper here we placed earlier. Underneath it, place a block and a block here. You need a block. A comparator facing this way, and then a block here. Sticky piston facing this way, and an observer facing downward here. So the observer should be facing down. Then come here and place an observer facing upward here. Then one above, an observer facing this way, a repeater going toward the right of our build, an observer here, and then a block here. So all this little circuit does is that whatever blocks we put in, as you can see, the dropper will spit out. Even if we put quite a few items in, it always just spits them out. Now come to the hopper, which is coming into these two droppers here. So find the two droppers next to the comparator, and then that hopper here, place a block here, comparator, into a block, block here, remove that block in the middle, repeater on four tick delay. Place a block here, one up, and dust on top of that block. Then a sticky piston here, and then one above. Then I want you to place two blocks like this, and have two observers coming toward these sticker pistons like that. Remove these two, then place an observer here and an observer here, and as you both see, they should be both flashing. Then place just a block here to power off that sticky piston and like that, so they should have a gap now of one block. So you can power this obviously with a lever, just make sure that now your observers are next to these droppers. I did that like that because it's much easier to place the observers like that than trying to faff around placing them here. Okay, next thing, we want to make a water column. So, come to the bottom here, place a glass block here, and up like this. Obviously, you don't have to make it glass, but I like to make it a glass so I can see the items going up. Block here. Blocks up like this. Then underneath this chest, place a full block so you, you, know, you can see a nice full block underneath this. Glass here. Then glass here. And here then up like this. Then we place a block here, place some water here, here, water, here, water, here, crouch and press water, then place a block here, then what you want to do is be quick, so you want to place water here, then place a glass block here. Like that. So at the moment, as you can see, the water goes up, then over that hopper. So if we were to place, let's say these 10 dirt blocks in here, as you can see, they get fired up and into that hopper. And then they'll make their way into this chest. And there we are. So you might be thinking, why don't you use soul sand? It'll make the item go much quicker. If you do that, sometimes, for some unknown reason, it breaks. And I'm not too sure why, but it's actually more efficient if you don't use soul sand. Now, just to finish off the redstone part of this build, we need to do the timing circuit. So how does this system know that I want 64 items? Well firstly, come to this block with a repeater on it, place a block here, 
one out and one out this way, move that block. Then places blocks like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and blocks like this. Then coming toward this orange block, place comparators, and we want five. One, two, three, four, five, and then a comparator line this way, going the other way, like that. Then dust here, and dust on these two, like that. Then place a block here, one out, two blocks up, like that. Block here, block here, block here, block here, dust here, and dust here, and dust here, block here, repeater here, whoops, repeater, not resonant dust, <laughs> and repeater here, dust here, and dust on these two, like that. Then come up to the top here, place a block here, one out, move that block, block here, repeater here, we can't use dust because obviously it'll be powered by this torch as well, dust here, redstone torch, place a block underneath that redstone torch and then one more, move that block, another one across, two pieces of dust, block here, block here, move that block, redstone repeater, then block up like that, block here, and then block here, or there, and dust on these two, like that. So now that's all the redstone done, now you can actually fill in what items you want to sell. So if you want to copy me, you can, or you can make it up, whatever you want. So I'm going to be using bread in this one, chicken, pork, cooked beef, mutton, salmon, baked or jack of potato, <laughs> and a cookie here. So as you can see, this one is pointing to the bread. So this is our first one. And if you want to check, you can see which one is powered. So it's our first one. So in our first dispenser, we want to place bread. Can I get through, please? Thank you. So let's place a bread. Second one, chicken. Then we had pork going round. Then we had beef, mutton, salmon, baked potato, and then we had cookie. Then underneath, you want to fill in the same. So from this side again, we had bread, chicken, pork, beef, mutton, salmon, baked potato, and then cookie. Whoops, let's not put that in there. <laughs> you don't want to have a mutton cookie? No, thank you. That's better. Okay. So now we have our items actually in place, we can actually test it for the first time properly. So at the moment we have bread, but let's say we want something like pork chop. So you can see our item selector goes over, and you see this one's going down, and we can put our money in. So let's put in our ingot, yes. And as you see our redstone lamp turns on, so we now have selected pork chop. We press the button, as you see later on, all of our items start going up. Now, if I were, like I said earlier, if I were to swizzle this round, this would just stop and we'd only get, say, 25 items which have come through already. Now, whilst that's doing that, we can just decorate. So, we can place our wall in. Of course, you can have this flush of the wall or you can have it set out from the wall. Up to you. I quite like having it a slight protrusion myself, but up to you, however you like it. Let's go up like that. So some uh, floor blocks like that. And there we are. And then we can check in our chest. And as you can see, we have 64 pork chop. Now, like I said right at the beginning of this video, this system has a locking mechanism. So when you say, yes, I want, say, cookies, that's all you can get, because if you come around here, as you can see, this piston is extended, and we place all these pistons down here. So when this goes, this pulse goes through here to allow items to go through, all these pistons extend, locking these ones. So then if you flick the arrow around, this one will move, but then this one will lock, and they will all be locked, meaning that you can't get any more items. So 
For example, like, this is cookie. Like this is cookies, that's good English. <laughs> so, I want cookies at the moment. If I put my items in, I select yes. Okay, I can press the button. Yes, I want cookies. And you watch them start coming through. And then I think to myself, hmm, actually, I want a few extra. Let's, let's go a few more like this. As you can see, now they've all locked, meaning no more items can go through our system. So yes, the ones which have been already for our system have to go through. And I only got... How many did I get? I got quite a few. I got Still, I only got 36. So I got cut short because I tried to cheat the system and I didn't get any of those other ones which I wanted. So it's just a smart little way you can make it so you can't cheat. And now it's time for this week's shout out. Now last week, I said that if you want a shout out, all you had to do is write, I want a shout out because and then write your favourite movie quote or film quote. Now, I didn't get many comments, and I think that's because it was a shout-out at the end of a 40-minute video, and I don't think many people saw it. So I'm sorry about putting it right at the end of that. It was a bit silly of me, to be honest. <laughs> so if you want a shout-out next week, I'm going to bring it back to basics. All you have to do is write, I want a shout-out because, and then write something funny. Anyway, we do have a winner this week, and we have a comment from Ryan383, who, sh who asks... No. He says, <laughs> I want to shout out because, according to the map, we've only gone four inches. And that's apparently a quote from Dumb and Dumber. Now, I've never watched that film, but it is quite a funny quote. It reminds me of an old uh, comedy, black and white comedy, uh, Laurel and Hardy. I bet half of you don't even know who Laurel and Hardy is. <laughs> anyway, Ryan383, this is your shout out. <laughs> I'm sure these shout outs are getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this design or like my video, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you all guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye! Bye.